Hey everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel after many, many, many questions on how I changed the rings on my LVMM replica. Um, I decided to make a video to explain it because the way that I did it is not how everybody else has done it. I've watched many YouTube videos prior to doing it so that I could see um, how to get it done. And honestly, I don't have a drill. I'm not going to go and attack it with like a screwdriver. No. And no. So <laughs> let me just show you what I did. You may not like the way that I did it. Um, some people would just prefer to buy the rings online and change them. Um, so let me just explain how I did it. Okay, so these are the original rings that came with the planner. They're really small. I'm not sure if they're 16 millimeter rings or 19 millimeter rings, but they're really small. Okay, these are the rings that I had in my previous planner, which was a Carpe Diem planner. So let me just show you. Um, this was the planner that I was using at first. Um, it's just a Carpe Diem planner. Um, there you go. And it had these 25 millimeter rings. Then I ordered this beautiful thing that I love and um, it came with really, really small rings. So let me just compare so that you can see the size difference. Okay. They're really different. They're really small. Um, so if you don't have it already, believe me, you're going to want to change the rings. But if you do have it, you know what I'm talking about. Um, so what I did was I was actually on um, Instagram. I had just opened up my Instagram planner page and this amazing planner babe messaged me and told me like, hey, by the way, I changed the rings in mine, which I didn't even know was a thing back then. Um, and she sent me a link to some rings that you can buy on Amazon. So I'll link that down below so that you guys can um, order them if you like. I personally didn't order them because they cost $25 and I had paid around $25 for the planner. So at the time I was like, do I really want to spend $25 on rings when it costs the same as the actual planner? Eh, when I had this one, which I was no longer using. So what I did, I actually made a little slit at the very bottom of this planner, okay? To take out the back plate of this planner because if you can tell here there you go the holes in the rings do not match up okay so the holes in these rings in the replica the one that i got anyway do not match up with any other rings okay let me just show you my um motor rings as well the holes do not match let me just put this one next to this. They don't match in this one either. So that's actually another option for you. You can order some Moterm rings as well because um, I ordered them on AliExpress. I ordered these gold ones on their own and it comes with both the top screw and the bottom screw. So if you do what I did here, you could use these. Okay, so you can either order the ones from Amazon, the ones from Moterm, or do what I did and take them out of an old planner and put them into your new one. So let me just explain what I did to take these ones out. You're going to notice that these are not replaceable rings. So the metal part in the middle, I actually had to stick in um, like a, did I use a screwdriver? I might have, it might have been too thick. If you have something thin, to help um, move it forward, kind of like bend it inwards, then you, you'll be able to take, take these out. Then you slit down the bottom and just take out the back plate. So this is the back plate of these rings, okay? You're going to need a back plate because these rings don't match up as I was saying before. So you're going to need this part that goes into the rings. Okay, so now let me explain how I did these ones, how I took this out. Don't freak out when you see the inside. Yes, okay? Yes. <laughs> so, the rings come like this, okay? And as you can tell, they're a little ruined because I used the same method, okay? It's going to have a little gold um, part at the top. You're just going to have to flip it off and then kind of make it go inwards you're gonna see like a little metal thing that goes out you're gonna squish it in 
to be able to take this out. I don't know if you're, I'm making sense right now, but hopefully I am. Um, and then you're going to notice that this one actually doesn't have a back plate, okay? My first um, re reaction, my first step, was to cut a uh, slit at the bottom like I did in my Carpe Diem, only to find out that it doesn't have a back plate. It just has two little metal things, which is why I'm saying that the Moterm rings are going to be great for that as well. So here are the Moterm rings that I ordered. Um, this is actually, no, this is the 25 millimeter ones that I took out of my um, personal Moterm. And let me just show you, it comes with these. So the Moterm ones come with this, okay? So you have the top screw that you unscrew, okay? Whenever you like, there you go. Then you can put the bottom part in here. Okay, you're going to have to slit a little further down because the hole is originally up here because of the rings, okay? You're going to have to put one there and then the other one here. There you go. In here. And then you can just use crazy glue like I did to just glue that part down, okay? Or you can make a slit like I did. You don't have to. Not for these, um, for the Motem rings, okay? Then you put them in there. And then you just screw this part in. So the Moterm um, rings are pretty easy to use for the um, LV replica. Or on the other hand, you can use the ones from um, Amazon, which would be similar to the idea that of this one. Okay, so what I did, I slid it down the middle because it didn't have a slit, it didn't have a back plate. So then I would, I just went like this, I put it in here, there we go, oof, okay, there we go, and then I just made sure to like, kind of make a little bit of a slit here for this metal part, okay? I'm saying don't freak out about cutting it down the middle like this, slit it, not cutting it because you're not going through to the other side, okay? You're only slitting down the middle of the inside. Once you put these in, you won't be able to see the line. So don't worry about that. Even if you decide to change it back, you still won't see that slit. That's the amazing part of it, okay? So I just crazy glued this all the way down, stuffed these in, and used crazy glue to hold it down. And you know that little metal um, plate that goes over it? I just used crazy glue and glued it in so it just looks like it's the final product. However, on Amazon, I think if you order the whole little bundle, it comes with everything so you don't have to do that. So it's all depending on your liking, okay? Um, so yeah, so that's how I switched out the rings. Um, I'm no longer using this. Oh, I might as well just leave it there. Um, I'm no longer using this because I did go ahead and order the original um, LV. But I'm also not going to sell it, you guys. I know I've gotten many messages asking if I'm going to sell it. But because I took it out, um, I lost the little metal part. It looks, you know, it's it's. I'm not selling this. You know what I'm saying? Um, I have tried using it for my mini happy planner. So I do store my mini happy planner in here. It does fit. You just have to put it in here um, and just know that when you put these um, rings in because they're bigger and the planner that I got not all of them are the same but the one that I got is very structured you see structured to the small rings it's eventually going to um, just adjust okay so it's gonna look fine at first I was a little iffy but then Michu I spoke to Michu and I asked her about that and she said don't worry it's going to adjust and it actually did so don't be scared. Um, go ahead and try it. Don't blame me if you ruin your planner. <laughs> P.S. Um, but no, you shouldn't. If you do it right, if you just slit down the middle, you know, don't go past the little holes that it originally has. Um, you're going to be fine. Okay. And I believe the um, Amazon um, pack um, that I'm going to link down below for the rings comes with an, an instructional video. I believe and it comes with instructions so it should be fine if you have any more questions you can just comment down below um, I'd be happy to help uh, hopefully this clears up the whole situation because I've been meaning to make a video I just haven't had time 
and I've gotten many questions about it. So there you go. If you're interested in doing it yourself, the best of luck. You're going to do fine. It's not difficult. Don't be scared. You're not going to ruin your planner. Um, just make sure that you only cut the first layer. Don't go all the way through the planner. Okay. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for um, watching my video. I hope you liked it. I hope it helped. Again, if you have any more questions, you can just message down below, comment, like the video, subscribe to my channel. If there's anything else I need to clear up, then I'll just make another video. Um, but yeah, also if you'd like to see more planner content um, and pictures, uh, just follow me on Instagram. It's lally.plans if you don't already. I'll link it down below so you can just press follow. Um, and yes, that's all for now. Hope you have an amazing um, evening and see you in my next video. <laughs> Bye guys.